this is such a terrible breaking news just going on social media and saying that boko haram terrorists stormed yobe school around 4 a.m uh, today and brought out uh, students and shot them dead nigeria has turned into a place where life is nasty short and brutal I mean, taking life in Nigeria is no longer anything. Death, death, death everywhere. It's unbelievable. There are no security. No security. And these people this thing, do these things and they get away with it. For how long are we going to stay like this? This is a question I keep asking. Parents sent their children to school. And then someone somewhere decided that uh, they were just going to just, just shoot them and kill them and that's exactly what happened and the most heartbreaking part of it all is that at the end of the day nothing is going to be done to these people these terrorists almost feel as if they know nothing will be done to them <sighs> this particular educational institution where uh, students were brought out and killed is affiliated with the islamic movement in nigeria imf a prominent shia sect in the country and it was tragically transformed into the scene of un unspeakable carnage, according to Sahara reporters. In an act of terrorism, uh, suspected Boko Haram insurgents launched an attack on Faudia school situated in the Gedan local government area of Yobe State. This educational institution affiliated with the Islamic movement in Nigeria, uh, a, pr a prominent, oh, it's repeating the same thing, they say. according to credible sources who spoke to daily trust. The assailants descended upon House Sari quarters in Jaidam local government area at the unholy hour of 3.44 a.m. on Friday. That's today. Under the cover of darkness, the terrorists exploited the vulnerability of their citizens, uh, of their victims who were sleeping. As reported by daily trust, sources revealed that the government struck while the students were deep in sleep, rendering them defenseless against the sudden and deadly onslaught for crying out loud these are students these are young people what did they do who did they offer what is it that you go in and you just people who are sleeping who haven't done anything to you you just take them out where where is dss why all this were going on if it was anything to do with protest now dss will come out and tell us that oh they, they have intelligence they have this thing why can't they have intelligence on things like this and prevent them from happening why is it only on terror on protests that they have that they have intelligence this callous and calculated attack has left an indelible scar on the community claiming the pre precious lives of the students there is tension and concern in this town after this incident people are terrified over this unfortunate uh, incident according to the sources that that that, that talk, talk to them also a vigilante told the newspaper that three members of shia sect were killed while one sustained injury we don't know who did the government are but all we know is that they killed three students in the school one person who tried to escape during the incident was injured and he has been hospitalized the spokesperson for you basically police command dsp dungus abdukarim confirmed the incident but did not give the details these are the things that the Nigerian police should be investigating and finding out who are the perpetrators. These are the things that the security agents should be going after these people that have done this dastardly, dastardly act and bring them to the book, get them, you know, prosecute them. They unfortunately, they never do this. All they're interested in is regime control and coming after the people and, you know, at attacking and uh, uh, persecuting uh, citizens. And this we have to stop. Of, it's so sad seeing all of this. Thank you so much for watching.